Hi there, as usual it's me, just a voiceover, you are watching the view machines, and this is the newest ATV, which is called Huntsman Pro. It looks impressive, doesn't it? Besides, the thoughtfulness of the construction impresses as well. I'll show you all the details now, and then we are going to make a trip to the Rio Severe Swamp, the most interesting test for any ATV. Well, take your seats in our vehicle, it's time to hit the road. But before that, please consider subscribing the channel, my friends, it's very important for us. The first thing that's notable here, it's certainly the exterior. It looks awesome, a bit aggressive and brutal, a Rio Offroader Conqueror. The design of the front end resembles contemporary four-wheelers, so the exterior is really successful to my mind. The body elements are made of a special robust plastic. As a result, it's light and durable, and it allows to make the most practical inner space of the body. I'll show you a bit later what I mean. Now let's look what we have under the hood. There is two cylinders, 30 HP engine, the drive from the engine goes to the special reducer, and then to the mechanical gearbox. The system is equipped with a powerful generator, besides there is an effective air cooling system on the engine. The drive from the gearbox goes to the heavy dirty axles by durable drive shafts. The front axle is equipped with automatic diff lock. There are low pressure tires that are made of tires from a truck, where most part of rubber was cut off. The tires are equipped with bed locks. The frame has two sections. The articulation gear was designed specially for this ATV. It manipulates by hydraulic system taken from a tractor. Frankly speaking, it's not very much room inside the cabin, but I managed to get comfortable here. The handling of the machine is the same as in a regular car. The steering wheels, the pedal, the gearbox all the same. At the right, there is a lever to shift the gears, parking brake and the handle throttle, and fuel indicator. At the left, there is a handy glow box and buttons to control the lights, winch and so on. There is a heater. The seat has its own suspension. The windscreen can be opened in hot weather. Before we look at some other interesting features in the construction, let's have a drive. It's so exciting to test this machine. Well, as I said, I felt quite comfortable at the steering wheel. If you can drive a regular car, you definitely will be able to drive this ATV. The seat of the driver is so high from the ground, so the field of view is perfect. The first two ranges in the gearbox are very slow. They are used in the most complicated cases, so it's better to start moving straight from the third range. After a little time of moving, it's obvious this ATV is not very fast. We'll check the maximum speed a bit later. Hydraulic steering works perfectly. It's very easy to handle this huge vehicle. The main drawback is that there is no any suspension system. So if you want to have a smooth drive, you'd better lower the pressure of the wheels. Well, now let me show you some other peculiar features in the construction. The ATV is equipped with powerful lights. Besides, the hand lamps look awesome. The fuel tank has 60 liters capacity. The front and rear parts of the body are covered with a robust material. It can be folded and unfolded easily and quickly. The fastening system of the tent is very reliable. There are plenty of different boxes for various things. All the boxes are waterproof. At the rear we see another special cargo boxes with an access both from outside and from inside. The access to the rear part is comfy due to these steps. 
In our version, rear cabin is almost without trim, but it can be modified according to the customer requirements. There can be sitting and sleeping berths, heaters and so on. By the way, there is a special trailer to transport the vehicle on public roads. Well, it seems we've covered all the features, it's time to start our trip, let's go! As I told in the beginning of the video, today we were going to get to the Rio Swamp, one of the most exciting and complicated tests for any ATV. But it will take some time to get there, so we'll face other interesting tests as well. Our trip starts here, on this beautiful field. We lowered the pressure of the wheels, so now the vehicle goes quite smoothly. I wouldn't say it's very comfortable, but it's bearable. And while we are going through the field, let's check the maximum speed. As I said, this ATV is not a very fast machine, nevertheless it's interesting to find out. Well, as we can see, we reached 34 km per hour maximum speed. That probably can be considered as another disadvantage of this machine, together with lacking of the suspension. Now we are heading to the forest. The road conditions are so tough, as you can see. The ruts are very deep and full of water and dirt. The further we go, the lower we get, and it's getting more and more water around. But such conditions can't be considered as any serious obstacle for our ATV. Aggressive low pressure tires and huge ground clearance do a lot of good on off-roading. So we are moving on, slow and sure. But to be on a safe side, we have a demountable winch that can be attached to the front or rear end. Meantime, the road is getting darker and darker. But we are moving on to our goal. Though it's a pretty big machine, with 4200 mm length and 2300 width, we are able to move among the trees quite maneuverably due to the articulated frame. It goes wiggling like a caterpillar. The hydraulic steering does here a lot of good. It's easy to handle the machine even in such conditions. As we remember, there is a reducer between the engine and the gearbox. As a result, the ATV is slow, but it has a perfect torque and it's enough power in every moment, even with not very big engine 30 HP. Suddenly, the trees step aside, and we are facing huge open area. We've reached our goal. It's a huge severe swamp, and first of all, we should pump up the wheels. Why do I call this video a risky swamping? The matter is, it requires at least two vehicles to cross such areas. Because if you get broken in the middle of the swamp, you won't be able to leave the ATV and get out of there. Nevertheless, we are moving on. Probably the driver is absolutely sure of the reliability of his ATV. It's impressive show, isn't it? But it's slightly frightening. Just imagine how deep it could be there under the carpet of the swamp. The hardest part here is to cross these open so-called windows in the carpet. But as we can see, our ATV getting over them without any difficulties. And 
now we are facing the open water. Let's find out how our vehicle is able to cross water areas. As we can see, it can float quite well. Besides, it goes on water with a quite a decent speed. You can see it now. The construction of the vehicle has a thorough weight distribution, and the driver's seat is in the middle of the body, so it floats straight without tilting. Meantime, we are watching the vehicle getting out from water on the ground. As we can see, it's a snap for the machine. The author of the project told us that this ATV was even able to get out from water on ice. I hope we will test that in winter. Well, my friends, I think it's high time to speak about the prices. And the price of the ATV Huntsman Pro starts from $12,000. Well, let's go today, my friends. Thanks for having a ride with us. Please post your comments what you think of this ATV. Consider subscribing the channel for like this video. Stay with us, there will be many more interesting materials here. Goodbye.